Hello, so today I thought I would talk about school. School isn't exactly a week and I thought I would give you guys some tips. A thing that I do a couple of nights before school is go to bed early and wake up early. This means that I can catch up on sleep and I am prepared to wake up at the time I need to for the first day of school. Pack everything you need for school the night before so you are prepared for the morning. Always take your water bottle and always take your lunch to make sure you don't get dehydrated or hungry during the day. If you set an alarm then you won't have to worry about getting up in the morning. And I suggest that you set an alarm on your phone and put it on the other side of the room so that when it goes off you actually have to get up to turn it off. If you eat healthy then it will help you concentrate at school and it will fill you up with energy. Always have a piece of fruit with breakfast and have some cereal or toast. Make sure you have enough food that will keep you full until the first break. Always check your bag before you leave for school so that if you forgot to put something in the night before then you can put it in before you leave. Name all your stationery so that if you lose it someone can bring it back to you if they find it. Yeah right. I find that getting a locker really helps me get organised, stops me from having a cluttered bag and it means I don't have random stuff that I don't need for that subject. Getting a locker with a friend is a really good idea because one, it's cheaper and two, you have someone to walk to the lockers with. If you don't enjoy your subject, then change! If you really don't like your subject that you're doing, then if you're doing a subject that you don't like, then you are just wasting your time. Then go and ask your dean if you can change your subject to something that you'll actually really enjoy. What often happens is that teachers and your parents put a lot of pressure on you. They put pressure on you to get the highest grades and get the best in class. What you really need to do is tell them that you're trying your best and you're going to work hard. Another thing that gets people, and it does get me, is the expectations that you get for your grades. I have high expectations for my grades and when I get a low grade I'm quite disappointed. What I've started doing is lowering my expectations for my grades. If I get a high result I'm super happy. If I get the result I was expecting then I'm not too down and I don't feel unhappy with myself. I think that a lot of people need to appreciate themselves. They need to understand that you are unique and who you are is who you are. High school often does change that. What you need to do is find people that you get along with and you feel like you can talk to. Don't try to fit in with the popular crowd because you're just not going to feel happy there. You won't feel like you belong. A lot of people have started caking on the makeup at school because they're quite self-conscious about what they look like. People will judge you but you have to ignore them because they obviously have nothing better to do with their lives. Push their views aside and be who you are. If you want to wear makeup, you can wear makeup. But if you don't, then you don't have to. No one's pressuring you into wearing makeup. Often when you're doing tests in class, you get a bit overwhelmed and a bit freaked out when you get the test. What I often do is I'll look away from the test, take a few deep breaths and just close my eyes. I close my eyes for about 10 seconds and then I look back up and I feel refreshed and ready to do my test. This also happens with homework when you've got so much that you feel like you can't finish it all in time. What you need to do is look at all the stuff that you've got, put it in a list, do one thing at a time, otherwise you are just going to stress yourself out. Teachers often tell you to do your work during lunch times and morning tea, but you shouldn't listen to them because that's your time to relax and have fun and refresh your brain. So thanks guys for watching, I hope this video helped you. If it did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for another video, then please comment below. Please subscribe, and I will try and do another video soon. Bye!